ones. Hey, Mama. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> what do you think, Rain? <laughs> Little Miss. <laughs> you just marched right under your mom, huh? She is the most precious thing, right, Chrissy? Right, Mama? Oh, big yawn. Are you sleepy? <gasps> Thank you, Tolina. She, uh, she is adorable. She's all ears right now. That's for sure. She is all ears. She's such a good baby though. What do you think, Arabella? You did a good job, huh? You did a good job, Mama. Hi, little Rain. She's very interested in eating my shoes, guys. She's taking after Ralphie. Hasn't even met him yet, but she already knows. She does look like she was never pregnant. I agree. She never got big like Maybelle, though. I think that's definitely part of it. <laughs> Maybelle does look like she's still pregnant. Oh. The straw, silly girl. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, yes, she can absolutely open her mouth. Oh, I don't know if you guys heard that. Miss Arabella just licked the microphone. Yeah. Meet your fans. <laughs> yes, it's definitely a little different. Four versus one, huh? To all of you who guessed that Miss Arabella was only going to have one beautiful baby, congratulations on guessing correctly. I think she's probably glad it wasn't two. Her little mini me. Oh, little miss. I know, Talina, it really is. I can't believe she's uh, sitting here sniffing me right now. Just a couple weeks ago, she was uh, running away from me, very afraid. Yes, Carol, I'm sure someone will definitely video when uh, Ruthie and Lewis meet Little Rain. Oh, you're such a good mama. I will say, guys, Arabella has been a wonderful mom so far. 
We are a little worried because she is still just a baby herself, but instinct absolutely took over and she's doing a great job. Great rain. Hi, what you doing, Arabella? Never would have guessed when we rescued her that this was uh, where we'd be just a few months later, huh? I certainly, she was so tiny when we got her, I certainly didn't think I was going to be in here live with you guys and her baby. Oh, I don't know a birth weight, Lindsay. Hi, please don't eat that. That's not a snack. That's my phone. That's not a snack. I'm sure we could find out a weight for you, Lindsay. I don't know off the top of my head. I know, Perky. It seems crowded in here with just the two of these guys. I also certainly can't believe Maybelle and all four were. Yes, Talina, thank you so much for the coffee pot. We are using it. We are still good on coffee right now. We uh, have it in the office by Lawson's Barn. That was very, very, very thoughtful of you to send it to us. Great, Miss Rain. Sharon, there's donation pages on our website, also in the link tree of the Goats of Anarchy Instagram bio. You can find the donation page for the GoFundMe for our hospital, which is where we are currently trying to fundraise for. We are uh, hoping to build ourselves an on-site hospital so that... Miss Mama Arabella could have had her baby in the nice warm heat inside. Not that the Maybell condo is not great, but this will be able to provide us with so many other wonderful things. We'll have stalls for the animals. Um, and then once we meet that fundraiser goal cost, we'll be able to have other fundraisers for equipment. We're hoping to have a, a goat washing station in case anyone needs a... And we want buddy stalls so when they have a bonded friend who's sick, they can still be near their friend or their sibling. It'll really definitely be a wonderful, wonderful thing. We did not know she was in labor, Michelle. She surprised us. We were getting ready to uh, bring her down, and when one of our staff members went up there, Arabella decided she just wanted to do it on her own terms. We were not expecting baby rain when we got her. Right, little miss. She was definitely a good surprise, though. Hi. Don't eat my shoes. Hi, Miss Rain. Hey.
Yeah, that's your baby. Oh, good job, Mama. They do look kind of like Lulu Carol. Definitely that similar gray black coloring, right? Rain is colored very opposite of Arabella. Her nice little white ears. She is most certainly all ears right now. Great little rain. She has not been out yet, Perky. We're just trying to let um, Rain and Arabella bond. So we've been keeping them in the stall. It's also been cold out. Um, she's a little, just a little baby still. So we wanted to make sure we can keep her warm and get them to bond and be a happy little family before we let them go outside. No, she doesn't need a sweater. It hasn't been that cold, thankfully. But because she is just such a nice new little baby, we're uh, keeping her inside where she will stay warm. It's actually finally warming up here. We are uh, seeing some of the snow melt, as I saw you guys were uh, talking about a little bit this morning that we can almost see one of the platforms outside under where we had piled all the snow. I can't wait for all the snow to be gone. Right, Arabella. Cody absolutely misses the platform. And Praline misses her steps. They're also buried in the snow right now. Right, Arabella. Maybe baby rain is going to be our good luck charm and we won't get any more snow since we uh, rescued Arabella the day of our first big snow we got this year. Maybe rain will be that reversal and now we won't get snow anymore. What do you guys think? Am I naive? Is my wishful thinking too much? Sleepy baby. Hi. Hi. What you got? We are all praying for no more snow, Chrissy. Eat the straw, silly girl. She's so tiny, she looks fake, I think. All ears. Yeah, you're all ears. She's ridiculously cute, guys. She really is. And we're all so excited she's here. Yes, we are. I know. 
What do you think? Are you talking? Are you talking? <laughs> I really am very lucky, uh, CH. I tell people that all the time when I try to explain uh, where I work and live, and I get to say I live with the goats. It's really a super special opportunity, that's for sure. Yes, Carol, she is just as soft as she looks. And I know that's gonna make you jealous, which is not my intention. But she is super soft and sweet. Oh, hi, Arabella. Where are you going? Oh, good girls. Uh, yes, De Deb, you know, you've seen. <laughs> I'm right in the middle of it all. Hi, Rain. Yes, we have the slide that Maybell and the Baybells had. That'll definitely uh, make its way back in here for sure. Rain's just still so little right now, she doesn't even really have any interest in much playing. She's still uh, figuring out how to just be a little goat. Oh, I'm so sorry. I sneezed. I'm sorry. I sneezed. Did I scare you? Oh, so as I was saying, she's still trying to figure out balancing on her cute little wobbly little legs. So eventually when she gets better at that, she will definitely be able to play with the fort and the slide that Maybell and the Baybells had. Oh, are you going to lay with us, too? Good girl, Arabella. At one point, yes, the fort did make its way to the chicken coop, but the chickens weren't overly interested in it, so the fort is just... Hanging out right now. It will definitely make its way back for the baby. Scrolling back to see if I missed any questions for you guys. <laughs> Carol, I'm chuckling at your comment about not leaving unless it was to go up and visit the horses. Of course, guys, my pleasure. I'm happy that we're able to do this and do some good fundraising and welcome sweet baby Rain. And I'm really excited that we're able to have our uh, hospital donation page be the main page for today for our donations. Um, that's something we're, we're really excited about and really passionate about and I can't wait to see it, to see it come. Uh, 
Cindy, I did not say what type of goat they are. I'm actually not sure. That is a great question. I don't really know though. Princess goats, absolutely Yoshimi. They are the sweetest little princesses. <laughs> a bunny goat with the floppy ears, I know. Well, their ears make me think of Praline. She has big floppy ears too. But I've never seen, and now I really only know our goat, so I'm a little biased. But I've never seen a goat like Praline with the coloring of beautiful uh, Arabella and Rain. Right? We don't know. We don't know. Rainbow is great. Yes, she is. Uh, she's still hanging out down in Lawson's. Um, sometimes some of these guys just don't do great with the cold like Mikey, so we move them inside during the winter. Um, Rainbow has lots of boyfriends. She is particularly fond of Mr. Basil. <laughs> but what's not to love about Basil? He's definitely gonna be a ladies' man as he gets a little bigger and older. He's already so handsome. Okay. Are you guys so sleepy? Annabelle's doing great. She has all her all her friends right out in the playhouse yard that she loves hanging out with. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking over the past couple days worrying about her and if she ever lays down she does lay down she's always snuggled in at night especially um one of her snuggle buddies is rudy she tends to lay with him a lot um so you don't need to worry that you guys aren't seeing her lay down it just happens that she doesn't tend to do it much on days where we're uh, streaming from down here Right. You guys are laying down. What do you think, Arabella? It's your first alive. Your first alive. You're doing such a good job. You're such a good subject. You really are. And you too, Rain. Absolutely the most precious little baby, right? I don't know, what do you guys think? How are they uh, doing with their live debut? I'd say I'd give them a five star review. She is incredibly calm. Diane, hopefully quick. We have uh, our prosthetist here this weekend, actually. he's uh, They molded Basil today, and he'll be working on those prosthetics, and hopefully those will come fast, and we'll get to see him running around.
<laughs> the Baybells were powered by Fritos. That is absolutely true. I'm sure Arabella does like Fritos. I don't know. Do you like Fritos, pretty girl? I'm not actually sure if we've uh, given her Fritos. I'm sure someone has, because they are certainly a fan favorite at GOA. But I personally have not given Arabella Fritos. Um... I do, uh, Michelle, I do think she misses uh, Ruthie and Lewis, but I think she knows right now that this is where she needs to be to focus on her baby. And I, I hope she knows that she'll she'll see them again once, uh, once Rain is more grown, because that's their herd. So they will definitely be back together. But right now Rain is just too small. And she needs time to bond with Miss Arabella. So for now, they'll stay down here. But eventually, yes, this lovely little family will move back up with Ruthie and Lewis. So no, Perky, they probably won't move to the grad yard, they will most likely go back with um, Ruthie and Lewis because that's their little, their little herd. And then eventually they will have a yard where they uh, live. I'm not exactly sure where that's gonna be, if they'll be with uh, GOA1 or where they'll end up, but I'm not sure that uh, It'll necessarily be the graduate yard. CH, I am not sure yet when we're going to be able to get some live streaming for these two. Um, I'm hoping soon. But the camera we have set up in here right now for our security camera is not one that connects to stream for the YouTube Live. We were planning on switching that out before she had the baby so we could do a baby watch, but obviously Miss Arabella had her own plans. So we are hoping eventually to be able to switch that over so you guys can have some live streaming with mom and baby. But for right now, we're just trying to keep them in here pretty much to themselves so they can have these uh, special first couple days and weeks together to just really bond and get to know each other. So I can't give you a definitive answer there. Anna, that was Pepper's dinner. Um, some of these guys have more meals than others depending on uh, what they need. So Pepper, Pepper is one that gets a special dinner every night. Most everyone gets something, but it's not always um, like a big full dinner. Sometimes it's just a little bit of grain or some treats. It really depends on what each and every one needs. Um, so Pepper's dinner is unique to her, but she does get it every night. Yeah, Doggy and June went back down to the OG herd and they are thriving down there. They are loving life. I think they are very happy to uh, be Back with the OGs down in Otto's Old Timers. Um, they're doing great. We love you guys too. Thank you everybody who's already donated to our hospital fundraiser. And everyone who's liked it and shared it and spread the word. Every little bit helps. Every like, every share 
every time we can mention it and bring it up, that helps us just get one day closer to our goal and we can uh, take the hospital from a dream to a reality. Right, Miss Arabella. Yeah, it's really, it really is, Carrie. It's going to be something really, really special. Um, and we're just so fortunate to know that we have so many supporters and people who are willing to donate and try to make it a reality. Um, it's going to help so much. We're going to be able to provide an even higher level of care than we already are, which is just so incredible. And we really are so fortunate to be able to even have the additional space that we can think about making something like this a, uh, a possibility. Gus and Mikey have been having uh, play dates down in Miyamojo. Um, hopefully, they'll be able to uh, integrate back in down here. But we'll see. I'm not really sure on that one. I think the plan, I know the plan had been that Mikey just needed Lawson's for, for the warm weather. Or the not the warm weather, the warm air. And once the weather did get warmer, we were planning to move him back out because he is also super bonded with Cody and Gigi, and they're his friends too. But thankfully, this time where he has needed the warmth has allowed him to also really bond with Mr. Gus. And that's been wonderful for the two of them. And I think I'm I'm excited. I hope they can uh, come back out here permanently because Gigi, Cody, Mikey, and Gus will be the cutest little four musketeers ever. Sorry, I'm scrolling again to look at your questions. I don't want to miss anybody. Um, Cindy, I believe our floor plan will show how many goats will be able to hold. Um, I know I, I think the plan was for three or four stalls with some buddy stalls in case they're bonded or it's a mom and a baby. That way we can have more animals down there. Um, but if you check out the floor plan that's on the uh, GoFundMe, the little sketch, that will uh, show close to just how many we're able to accommodate. Uh, yes, Sheila, we will absolutely be using the same vet. We are incredibly fortunate to have Dr. Wilson as our wonderful vet, and she is certainly not going anywhere, at least if we have any say in it. <laughs> we would not give her up by a long shot. She's done so many wonderful things for us. We will absolutely continue to be using her. Um, I know, Carrie, Gussie did need a friend. Little Gus. Him and Mikey are definitely getting along great. Carol, we put the order in for the plow, um, and I'm hoping that once it's ready, we're not even gonna need not even gonna need it, and then we won't have any more snow because with our uh, last plow that had died on us, after that made its way to the property, it didn't snow that we needed it for almost three years. So I am hoping that that's gonna be the case again. That would be wonderful. Um, I would be perfectly content if we found out that it was ready to go and then we didn't get another single flake of snow for the entirety of 2021. That is my plan at least. <laughs> Yeah, Arabella, 
everyone's talking about what a good mommy you are. You're a great mama. You are, you're a great mama. Sweetest little family. I think, was it Yoshimi? You gave them a 14 out of 10 review and I would wholeheartedly endorse that. Absolutely. Right, Arabella, you deserve all the stars and all the treats. You do, you do. <laughs> Cindy, I hope we never have to use it. If we never got another flake of snow, that would be just fine by me. That's definitely just me being naive because living in New Jersey, that's never going to be a possibility. However, a girl can hope. I agree, Carrie. I am also very excited for Rain to be able to hop and jump and play. I'm uh, curious to see if she'll try to climb on Miss Arabella like the Baybells climbed all over Maybell when all she wanted to do was rest. I have a feeling that that's going to be the case. It seems to be the trend for baby goats. Oh, I'm not sure if rain, when rain will meet the house babies. Haha, <laughs> mom surfing. That's funny. Um, no, they're actually really not super vocal. They're, uh, they're some of the quietest neighbors that I've ever had, which is a nice change. Um, the cows are definitely the loudest by a long shot. I thought Greta and Leo were going to be the loudest neighbors I ever had, but Fanny is giving them a major run for their money. Miss Fanny Moo is a very loud little lady. <laughs> In my, what is my opinion of what the goats think of the white dogs? Those weird hairy goats. It, that's actually a really funny quest question, Missy, because they don't seem to mind Luke and Leia, our big, white, fluffy polar bear dogs, at all. But if I ever go up there with Heidi, my dog, they all tend to get kind of nervous around her, which is funny. But I guess she's a different dog, and she's a funny-looking dog as well, compared to Luke and Leia. So I understand their hesitancies, but for the most part, Luke and Leia just fit right in with the goats, and they don't seem to tend to bother each other. I think they like each other. So that is good. Um, I wonder what Rain is going to think when she meets Fanny, too. That will definitely be an interesting experience, for sure. Um, I'm not honestly sure when Fanny is going to move to Lena. I haven't, haven't heard any updates on that, so I'm sure uh, that'll be announced when the time does come, but... I don't have a good uh, barometer of that one, unfortunately. Um, yes, Cindy, Fanny, and Gus are two of our loudest. Absolutely. Gus has a pair of lungs on him. That boy can yell. And Quincy is loud. He is a very loud boy. All of our roosters are kind of loud, though. 
It's funny because I used to think that roosters would only um, crow in the mornings. Like you stereotypically think that, oh, the sun comes up and the roosters are crowing. Not our roosters. They crow all hours of the day and some of them even crow late at night. I have heard some of our roosters that live in the chicken coop crowing at midnight. So <laughs> that is definitely, definitely a fallacy. Arabella does yell when it's mealtime. Arabella is good at making her demands. <laughs> Cooper's doing okay. I think a couple of you have asked and I haven't trying, been trying to ignore your question. Um, he is stable. He is recovering. So he's doing all right. Right, Miss Arabella. Hi, pretty. What do you think, Miss Arabella? Are you enjoying the life? Thank you for your prayers, Talena. We are all praying for him as well. Some good cud chewing there, Arabella. Good job. Little Miss Rain is fast asleep over here. It's hard work being a, this adorable, that's for sure. She needs all the beauty rest she can get so she can ensure she stays this adorable. Right, Mama. You're beautiful, too. She definitely does know she's home, Carrie. That's for sure. I think it's really interesting to see uh, some of these guys, and you hear that they're uh, running around, and they're wild and crazy, or whatever the report may be. And then once they know they're safe and they've uh, they've found their home here, they are able to just relax and be their true selves. It really is something incredible. This stall is nice and warm, Shuri. Um, it's not heated, but it's insulated and. Thankfully, we're having a lot of warmer weather, so it hasn't been getting really cold here overnight or at really at all during the day, which has been wonderful, and we're able to just keep the door closed and the window shut so mom and baby stay warm. I uh, overdressed myself to come in here. I put on gloves and, and ear warmers and a warm coat, and I almost immediately took my gloves off. So it is definitely nice and warm in here. And we are happy and comfortable. <laughs> we are lucky, Perky. I am so ready for the warm temperature. <laughs> a light rain or a heavy rain. That's funny. Oh boy, Anna, I do not know. Um, I know there's a lot. I wish there were more. Um, I think that would be wonderful, but as many as there are, we're very happy. Um, 
specific supplies we need, you can always check out our Amazon wish list. Um, I update that pretty regularly and definitely try to also update what, how many of each item on there we need and what the priority level is. So the things closer to the top of the list are the things we need more of right now. Um, and then as you get lower down the list, we need less and less of those things. I do think ice cleats are still pretty high on the list at this exact moment in time. And I'm hoping that we won't need those anymore because as I have said a million times already today, I am very, very hopeful that the uh, snow will be finished. Um, are Pepper and Eloise still besties? They are. They uh, both hang out over in Pepper's corner by my front porch now. And I have a, I have a gate going up to my steps. And it doesn't latch because you have to pull it towards you so no one can really open it. But Pepper always headbutts it. And I always used to know that Pepper was at my gate because I could hear her headbutting it. And now Eloise has learned from Pepper how much fun it is to headbutt my gate. So now anytime I hear it, I have to get up and check to see which little mischievous girl is the one headbutting my gate. <laughs> Eloise is a great coworker, and she is a tank. She is a mini Praline. She is going to be just like Praline. Shuri, when it's given through GoFundMe or to us on Facebook, we get the same amount, which is the whole amount and not a percentage taken out, which is wonderful. Um, like Carol said, the donations through YouTube, while they are wonderful, unfortunately we do lose a small percentage of those um, because we are a nonprofit. GoFundMe does not take a percentage of what we raise there. We are able to get the entire goal. Um, and speaking of the goal, you guys were asking yesterday if there was an anonymous donor to the hospital fundraiser goal because you are far more attentive than I am um, in noticing that the goal was decreasing. I confirmed you guys are correct. I apologize for not noticing that. The goal has been going down. Um, and the reason that's happening is because we are fundraising across multiple platforms. So as we make money for the hospital fundraiser on our Facebook fundraiser for it or on an Instagram donation for it or any directed donation for it, we're able to lower the overall GoFundMe goal. Um, so you're just seeing it drop because we're actually inching closer to that final goal of what we really need. Pepper and Eloise are adorable friends. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, Miss Arabella? I think it's uh, probably about time we start winding this down though, guys. Um, unless anybody else has any questions. I know we did say we'd go for an hour and we're coming up on about uh, 10 minutes of that remaining and I definitely want to get let little Miss Rain get her rest. A best friend goat. Oh, that's such a hard question because I love so many of these guys. Um, I don't know, Talina. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. It wasn't the most uh, exciting of lives. <laughs> it was unfortunately a lot of you guys listening to my voice and 
watching Miss Arabella and Rain lay down. Um, I know I do still owe you guys a live as well for our um, cart fundraiser. So that one will definitely be a little more exciting, I promise. I was planning on trying to do that one just right outside in the Playhouse yard because I know you guys are dying to meet Miss Fanny Madani. Um, so hopefully in a few weeks we'll be able to get that going too. <laughs> um, I haven't forgotten. I didn't want you guys to think I abandoned you. Um, and I appreciate you guys allowing me to have moved that. Um, that means a lot. I appreciate you guys working with my schedule as well. Right, Miss Arabella. Good job. Good live. That was a good, good job. A horse live. Yes, I will have to talk to Abby about that um, and see what would work well for her, Carol, but I'm sure we could probably make something happen. Um, I know it's a little muddy out there right now with all the snow melting, so that might be best to put off until the weather is a little nicer, but I will definitely uh, add that to the list of things we want to do, all right? I'm happy to try to accommodate any way I can. I will send everyone's love right on over to Miss Arabella and Sweet Baby Rain. And thank you guys all so much for uh, joining us. I hope you had fun. Hopefully the next time we do this, Little Miss Rain will have learned to hop and skip and jump. And that will be wonderful. Um, thank you guys for fundraising with us. And please, please, please just keep liking and sharing and donating if you can to our hospital fundraiser. It really is, it's gonna be life-changing for so many of our, uh, our animals. So we wanna make that happen as soon as we can. So thank you guys. I will be uh, switching the camera back over for the rest of your live stream for today momentarily. And I'll talk to you guys all later. Thanks again for joining us today. Say bye, Miss Arabella. Say goodnight, sweet baby rain.